have someone over here who wants to talk to you, Kadir. It's Shahan. He's going to tell you everything he knows about Kanan's murder. I'll send a car over right away. No need for that. He'll come in on his own. I'll vouch for him. All right, I'll be waiting for him. Who else do you know other than Mahir? Let's see. Well, there's to rule. He's the trigger man. Give me the addresses now. The address for the warehouse? Both the warehouse and that bar that you mentioned earlier. The places they visit so often. Yes, it is, ma'am. It's a problem at home. Okay, tell me. It's my grandmother. She's been very sick. I'm so sorry. What's wrong? She's been bedridden for the past few years now. She has heart disease. She has to have an operation. And after the operation, I'll have to stay home with her. Why is that? She's the only relative I have left in the world. And I'm the only one who can take care of her. I have no other choice. What else can I do? When sorrow touches my heart, I think about flowers. The beautiful flowers that open every morning and start a new day. Then I think about God's love for us and the promise of spring. If only we could see that the world is full of flowers. The flowers open up. They still open up, even though we are in pain. I'm going to have a word with the doctor. All Why right. don't you get some rest, okay? Yes. <laughs> yes, I'll be back in just you. a little while. Dulin, I'm going to go talk to the doctor. Then we can go to school together, all right? Okay. He was too young hey. to die. Give me that cigarette. The smoke makes me wheeze. Besides, don't you know that cigarettes are no good for little boys? Damn you. Look for trouble somewhere well, else. Stay calm. You need to relax. Ignore him, <sighs> Sonic. He just keeps on trying to push me. <laughs> Maybe give that back to me. Time. I don't like secondhand smoke. smoke. Give that back oh, to me, oh, damn you! Oh, oh, I warned you. What's going on? Get back! Oh, get back! Oh, get back. Oh, oh, don't! How many closer? Static. Be careful, doctor. You could get hurt. He's crazy. You don't want to do this, please. Static. Kill him. what then, Sadek? If you kill him, what solace will that bring you? You'll only be shackled with more regrets. It doesn't matter anymore. You have to trust me. I'm sorry, Doctor. It's too late. Please. It's too late. Give that weapon to me. No. I'm warning you. Stay away. Sadek. Yes? This is Sevgi. Uh, oh my god! What are you talking about? What happened, ma'am? Uh, is there something uh, wrong, Mrs. Akhtan? Kadir! Kadir's been shot! Oh no, how could this happen? Please, tell me where he is. Where's Kadir? Back off! Stay away! I'm gonna do it! I'm gonna kill him! I'm gonna kill him! I'm gonna kill him! No, don't! This is it for me, Doctor! Stay away! Just stay back! This is the end for me! No, it isn't. It's never too late to change. But only you can do it. It was it, 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 Shut it, it, up, Daniel! Shut joke. up, Daniel! You can do anything you want, but it's up to you to make a choice. I know you have the strength to make the better choice. Not the easy choice. Killing is easy. Please, please, please leave me alone. Leave me alone. Whoever forgives deserves to be forgiven. It takes a great man to forgive. Come on now. Choose to be a great man. Forgive him. Please. Oh. <laughs> 
It's all right, buddy. Everything's fine. Come on now. Doctor, I'm looking for Officer Kadir. He's been shot. Do you know anything about him? No, no I'm sorry. Uh, why don't you ask at the front desk? The front desk? Where is that? But can't you help me? I need to find him. I need to see... Sevki? Oh. oh, God, thank you. You're all right. Of course I'm all right. Oh. It's just a scratch. They patched me up good. Oh. It's nothing to worry about. Oh, my God. Thank you. Thank you for keeping mm. Kadir safe. We went on a raid this morning, Sevgi. Mahir was there and we got him. So, my son's murderers will finally be brought to justice? No. No, not yet. Uh, you said you caught them, didn't you? It was Turul who shot Kanan, but we haven't found him yet. But we're very close. I'm sure we're going to catch him soon. And then he'll pay for what he did to your mm, son. I hope so. Do you know how much I pray for Kanan to rest in peace and for her Lucy to be free again? Don't you worry about that. Like I told you, I'm going to catch him. There's nowhere in the world he can hide from me. I trust you, Kadir. Please be careful, okay? I'm praying for you, honey. Why don't you stay with us tonight? You can rest a little. I'd love to, but I have to get back to the precinct. I don't want to waste even a second. Mahir has to be interrogated. Turul is somewhere in the city, and he knows where. And whether he likes it or not, Mahir is going to tell me everything he knows. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. The guys at the precinct raised some money for Tulin's grandmother. I got so caught up in things, I guess it slipped my mind. That's so sweet. We were able to raise a good amount, too. Tomorrow, we're going to pay all the medical bills. Well, then I guess I will see you tonight. So I can drop off the money, I mean. I'll be waiting for you, dear. You're always welcome. <laughs> <laughs> You know what, Doctor? I owe you. I was about to ruin my life again just because of sudden anger. I don't know what to say. You're a very wise man. All wisdom comes from God only. He gave you the ability to do both good and bad, and you defeated your anger and chose the good. I wish I had known you long ago, Doctor. Then I wouldn't have all this blood on my hands. See, I never had a true friend. Everyone around me was leading me to that murder. There was no one around who could have stopped me. If only there had been some other way. Responding to hostility with compassion is the best way to defeat it. You'll be leaving this place soon. Never forget what you've learned here. My life won't be any different when I get out. With the criminal history of mine, I won't have a choice. That's just the way it is. If you keep your intentions clean and your thoughts pure, God will open doors beyond this one. Never despair, Sadek. I can't tell you how much I regret what I've done. I wish I could go back and change it all. It's impossible to change the past, but the future is yours to create. And if you do it with God's will, it will be blessed. Thank you, Doctor. You've brought peace to my life. Hmm. Do you feel more comfortable here, Grandma? I'm feeling better. You won't have any pain in a couple of hours. Forget about the pain, sweetheart. But how are we going to pay for this operation? My teacher is doing her best to take care of that part, Grandma. Don't you worry about it, okay? Thank God there are always good people around. 
I'm so sorry for giving you a hard time. I really don't know what we would do if we couldn't find the money. Honestly, I trust my teacher, Grandma. She promised me that she was going to help us, and she has never failed to keep a promise. I trust her, Grandma. That's good. Really. May God bless her, sweetheart. This part is from the school, and I got a lot of help from the neighborhood, too. That's from me, and here is your contribution. It seems like we've done a good job. It's a pretty good amount, for sure, but still not enough for all the medical expenses. If people were willing to donate this much, I'm sure that God will help you the rest of the way. I hope so. I don't think I'll be able to rest until I pay all those medical expenses. Don't worry, sweetie. I'm sure you will. The good things we do for people are like seeds you throw in the soil. Even one seed will get you thousands in return. Never forget that. Anyway, how's Kadir doing? Ah, oh, he's fine. I was very worried when I heard he was wounded, but thank God it wasn't serious. He should rest and take care of himself. I've been telling him the same thing, but he said he has to go back to work. He's very determined to catch Kanan's murderers. I pray that God helps him and watches over him. First you had your dogs kill Nuri. Then you framed Halusi Haktan for it. And after that you ordered the murder of his son Kanan, didn't you? Mr. Mahir. Yeah, right. It's all slander. I really don't know what you're talking about. Don't you see? I'm just an ordinary businessman. Do you think this is some kind of joke? Do you? Well, I'll show you how funny you are, you bastard. Go ahead, say that again, Mahir. What's the matter? You suddenly lose your sense of humor? I guess you have. So you want to talk now? Or would you rather I put you away for both these murders? I know nothing about what you're saying. I told you I'm innocent. I don't know what you want from me. Stop <laughs> wasting my time! You know where to rule is and you're gonna tell me right now! I don't know! Yes you do! Yes you do! <laughs> you know where he is. He's your little henchman, isn't he? I don't know what you mean. You think I'm stupid, do you? I'm not trying to protect anybody. I told you what I know. You should know something. Your man's not so loyal to you. <laughs> How did you think we were able to smoke you out of your hole? You're bluffing. Cyril wouldn't do such a thing. You think so? Huh. Then how do you think we would be able to find you? To rule sold you out, Ma here. And if you insist on not talking, you're going to take the rap for this. You nasty dog. Sit down, you <laughs> idiot! Don't move. We're not done. <sighs> So he thinks he could pin this whole rap on me and get away with it? I'm sitting here getting my butt kicked by the police, and he's out there having fun. I just can't believe that. But we can help you if you let us. Just tell us where he's hiding. Well, since he sold me out, I'm not going to let him get away with it. That idiot won't get too far if I can help it. Hello, oh, Sebki. Oh, Kadir, come in. Nice to see you. How are you? I'm good. Hello, Nurie. How are you? I'm fine, dear. I hope you're feeling better. I'm much better, thank you. Sevgi, this is the money the guys raised at the precinct for Tulin's grandmother. Just like I promised. Thank you so much. We were still a little short, but now we can pay for everything. Thank you, Kadir. It's not just me, Sevgi. It's from all of our friends. They wanted to help. Two days ago, I was worried we would never find the money, but now, thank God, we have it. As I told you, Sevgi, even one seed can yield many. God will recognize these great efforts of yours and will reward you in the hereafter, my dear. Hmm. If you ladies will excuse me, I have to get back to work. I'm not going to insist you stay because I know you won't. I don't know what I would have done without you. Thank you so much, Kadir. <laughs> my kindest respects, Nuria. God bless you. Sevgi, I'll see you later. Take care of yourself, Kadir. I will. Bye-bye. Bye.
Fresh hot tea, doctor? Smells good. Thank you. You see that? When the day is gone and the sun sets, sorrow fills our hearts. The blues of the night are the hardest to endure when you're in jail, doctor. Time feels like it's stopped and doesn't flow anymore. I feel like I gotta break all these doors and run away, you know? That's when we must rely on patience, Dawn. Haste leads to sorrow, sorrow leads to fear, and fear leads to anger. I sense much anger in you, and that'll drive you crazy. We must be patient. You're right, Doctor. Help you? We were told that a guy named Two Rules stays here sometimes. Honestly, I don't think we have such a person on our guest list, sir. Do I look uh. stupid? We already know he's here. Uh. Just tell me what room he's in. This is the guy. Oh, that guy. I know this guy, sir. Honestly, I didn't know that you were looking for him. Fourth floor, 404. That. Room service. You! Uh, you killed my friend, you bastard! And now you're gonna pay for uh, it! Uh, you uh, killed Kanan! And uh, now I'm gonna hey, kill hey, you! Hey, come on! Hey, now calm down! Uh, calm bastard, down, I'm gonna here. make you oh, suffer! The blue yeah, stop me, it! Please. Easy! Uh, easy! Uh, easy! Calm uh, down! Uh, you're an officer! Uh, you're gonna pay for it, I'm telling you! Just give me five minutes with him, Chief! I'm so glad that you were able to collect the money for the operation Tulin's grandmother needs, Seki. Congratulations. It's a wonderful thing you did. I want to thank you, too, because you helped us a lot, Mrs. Soraya. Did you tell Tulin the good news yet? I'm going to tell her during class so all the students can hear it. Everyone did a great job. Good. How did the little fundraiser go for your grandmother? Mrs. Hawkton did a lot to make it work, and she was able to raise some, but I don't know if it's going to be enough. Your grandmother must mean a lot to you. I haven't seen you smiling since she got sick. Exactly. She's my everything, and I'll do anything for her. We gotta go to class now, because if we miss just a couple of minutes, the teacher won't let us in. But you're lucky. <laughs> Mrs. Hawkton? She's so nice. I love her. Yeah, she's great. Isla! You forgot your coat! <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> hey, did you bring some photos for the graduation book we're working on? Of course I did. I didn't like the way I looked in the photo, but anyway. My wallet! 
I can't find my wallet. The photos were in there. You must have dropped it on the bus or something. No, I just showed him to what's her face outside. It's got to be in my pocket. Now, where did it go? I can't where could it be it. then? Let's go look outside. Oh, oh God, no, what am I gonna do now? I was supposed to deposit some cash in the bank after school. I can't believe all this. What am I gonna tell my dad now? Well, I don't know, it didn't fly away, right? Of course not. I can think of no one but somebody who desperately needs money. What are you talking about? Don't you get it? Tulin must be the one who took it. When I came here, it was right in my pocket. Then I forgot my coat and Tulin gave it back to me. What's that mean to you? Yeah, she's totally desperate because of her grandma. I don't want to be suspicious, but... Exactly. Didn't you hear what she said? She goes like, I would do anything for grandma. So what are you going to do now? I'll do exactly what I should do. I'll let the principal take care of her. All right, everyone, I have some good news for you. With your generous support, we were able to raise enough to pay for the medical expenses for oh. Tulin's grandma. Yeah, 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 so awesome. awesome. yeah. yeah. I knew it. I knew it. Yeah. yeah. Great. Oh, oh, never way to go. Thank you, everyone. You did a lot for us. Thank you. Mrs. Hockton, I really don't know what to say, but thank you. This is something that could happen to any of us. But you proved yourselves by showing that you care for one another. You've learned that you can't always solve life's problems acting alone, but we know we can achieve a lot of good things together. And I've got more good news for everyone. But I'm going to tell you that at the end of class. Can't you tell us now? Please tell us what it is, ma'am. Please. Oh, please, Mrs. Hawkins. Oh, come, oh, come on. 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 You need to learn to be patient. Oh. Let's get on with our lesson oh, now. Oh, you can do it. Are you absolutely sure it was stolen? You may have just left it somewhere. I'm sure about it, ma'am. It was in my coat pocket. I didn't drop it. It was in my pocket when I came to school today, and then someone took it out. Have you checked your bag, your desk, everywhere you've been today? Actually, we were with Tulin chatting outside. I took off my coat and I even forgot it there while I was leaving for class. Then Tulin called me over and gave me back my coat. When I got my coat back, the wallet was not in its pocket. And I think she's the one that took it. You think Tulin took your wallet out of your pocket? I'm pretty sure about it, ma'am. You know that she needs a lot of money for her grandmother. Young lady. This is a very serious accusation. Ma'am, Tulin has my wallet. I'm sure of it. As I told you at the beginning of class, I have more good news for you. One of your friends who attended the statewide poetry competition, whose name is Nihal. <gasps> Nihal, could you please stand up? has honored our school, our class, and of course her friends by taking first place in the entire state. Oh, Mrs. Tom, this is just the greatest day of my whole life. Oh, 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 Excuse me, Mrs. Hockton. I apologize for the interruption. But we have a serious matter. What is it? Isla lost her wallet. However, she thinks it was stolen. Are you sure you didn't drop it somewhere? No, ma'am. I didn't drop my wallet. It was stolen, and I know who stole it. I just want to make myself clear to everyone here that I have no tolerance for such behavior. If anyone thinks that they can get away with this, believe me, they will not. They will be punished severely. But do you know what the greatest punishment will be for such behavior? The shame and disgrace that he or she will have for the rest of their life. To Lynn, please come here and bring your bag. Mrs. Soraya, what do you think you're doing? I'm trying to resolve this issue. Isla claims that Tulin is responsible I for this. I didn't do anything!
Everything seems fine. Have you left the school grounds at oh, all today? No, I don't know what she's talking about. I haven't even seen her wallet, ma'am. <laughs> like I suspected, your wallet is not here. How can you be sure about it? Maybe she hid it somewhere. I didn't! You're making a terrible mistake. You don't have any evidence and you're insulting her? Is it so easy for you to doubt her? How can you be so sure of her innocence? I'm not lying to you. I'm not. I know Tulin and I trust her. I believe that she's telling us the truth. Very well. Sorry for the interruption. Please continue. Isla, come with me. Sweetheart, I believe you. Don't worry. I trust you, okay? When somebody is innocent, sooner or later everybody knows it. No one can ruin your honor as long as you keep yourself and your heart as pure as you are now. Don't cry. I'm sorry, Chief. I, I just lost it. But you controlled yourself and did the right thing. We're men of the law, and we act within the boundaries of the law. Our job is only to catch the criminals. Punishment is not our business. I told you I'm sorry, sir. You know, I should suspend you for your actions today, don't you, Kadir? Yes, sir, I do. So, what should I do with you? Well... Sir, since we've had such a big break in the case, catching Mahir and Tarul, I was hoping to question them. What are you waiting for, then? You're not going to suspend me for this? What are you talking about? Will you get out of here and do your job? I appreciate that, sir. How are you doing today, Lieutenant? I'm good. How are you, sir? Well, I heard the good news, so you caught the suspects. Tomorrow, we will need their testimony in court. I'll get them to confess to what they did. Their testimony is crucial for justice to be restored, and for Halusi to be released from prison. Yes, that's what we're all praying for. Mm -hmm. In the last two lines of the poem, similes are more dominant. As you can see, there is a parallel between the portrayal of the seasons and of human emotions throughout the whole poem. Come in. What is it now? Ma'am, I, um... I'm listening to you. I found my wallet. I guess it went through the hole in my pocket and into my coat again. Isla, I can't believe you! Didn't I tell you not to accuse someone of such a thing unless you were absolutely positive? All right, everybody. That's all for today. You may share your notes until the break. I'm so sorry for interrupting once again. Isla has something important to say. I uh, just want to apologize for what I did today, and I'd like to ask Tulin to forgive me for what I did. I'm so sorry for what I did, Tulin. I found my wallet, and I feel terrible. Tulin, I guess I owe you an apology, too. Isla was so sure of what she was saying, but I was too quick to believe her. I'm sorry. Now then, back to work. Isla? You see, sweetheart? Everyone knows the truth now. 
Thank you so much for your trust and for standing by me, Mrs. Hockton. Of course I'd stand by you. Who could be silent in the face of such poor behavior? I won't let anybody treat my students unfairly. Mrs. Hockton, you've always been so very nice to us. <sighs> Take the suspects to different interrogation rooms. Yes, sir. I don't want them to see each other. They'll crack faster this way. You got it, sir. My grandmother's operation is going to be tonight. You can't even imagine how happy she was for your help. I don't know how I can thank you, ma'am. How about smiling like that more often? Asya will be with you tonight. I'm sorry I can't be there. I have to go visit my husband. I'll pray for both you and your husband, ma'am. Oh, sweetheart, thank you. I hope your grandmother gets well soon. We need it. We all need these prayers. Mm. <laughs> From what I understand, it looks like this guy is going to cause a lot of trouble. We're trying our best, Doctor, but even so... Well, Lucy Hockton, you have a visitor. Good for you, Doctor. See you later. <laughs> How are you, honey? I'm good. And you? I'm fine. I just miss you so much. You're always on my mind, every moment of the day. Everything's gonna be all right, honey. The attorney was here. We talked a little. He's hopeful that after the trial, I might be released. But of course, everything hangs upon the confession of the true murderers. I believe justice will prevail. If I didn't have faith in that, then my time here would have been a nightmare. But I never lost hope in justice, and that one day I would be with you again. That hope keeps me alive in here, Sevgi. Don't worry about me, I'll be fine. An innocent man is suffering in prison because of what you've done. We know what you did. We know everything. Confess that you were the orchestrator of this plot and we'll cut you a deal. You don't get it. I'm totally innocent. You can deceive other people, but you can never truly lie to yourself. The truth catches up to everyone, eventually. I have nothing to do with that. I don't know anything. I don't know Kenan or that Nuri guy. That's not what Mahir's been telling us. So I know that you're lying. Kadir says the suspects may keep lying and continue to deny their involvement, which will only make it harder to get to the truth. Lies. Let them continue telling their lies. Continue to deny their sins. It doesn't matter. God knows the truth, and I have faith in him. They can deceive themselves, but justice will be revealed soon enough. Tarul pointed the finger at you. He says you were the only one responsible. He says you shot Kanan, and you murdered Nuri as well. Is that true? It's a lie. He's lying! You can never escape from your mistakes, or from reality. Everything about us will be revealed one day. The things we hide, our darkest secrets. There's no escaping from ourselves. And the sooner we face the truth, the sooner God will grant us his forgiveness. Ma here said you were the one who did everything. Why didn't you tell us that you were the boss? But I'm not! He's lying! If he's lying, then why don't you tell us the truth? You're so stupid, you're still sitting here trying to protect Ma here. He sold you out hours ago, pal. I've never lost my hope, Halusi. I know that God will help us. I have never doubted that, and as long as we believe in him, there's nothing to fear. God is watching over us. His wisdom will be revealed. I love you so much. I love you too. Are they 
you gonna let Daddy go today, Mommy? God willing, sweetheart. I prayed a lot for Daddy, Mom. Mm -hmm. Good job. I prayed for him, too. Considering all the evidence, Your Honor, and the suspects who have been taken into custody two days ago, the court needs to reevaluate all the testimony for this case, Your Honor. And I ask for a future court date for another trial in order to provide more accurate information about the murder. Your Honor, I also ask for the continuation of the custody of the defendant, Hulusi Hakatan. Do you concur? Your Honor, the suspects in custody have information of significant importance for the case. Therefore, I am asking for a future date for another trial. And, Your Honor, I ask for the release of my client considering his long period of custody. He should be released immediately. Your Honor, there's no reason to interrupt the defendant's state of custody. Do you concur with the prosecution? Yes, I concur. The case has been postponed to a future date. Defendant Hulusi Hakton will be kept under custody. Wait! Your Honor, please wait. I brought a witness who wants to testify. Hmm? 